What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for an episode of a game called Stack. Where we've got to stack stuff to get to an island that's forbidden in the sky. And you know what we say? Fuck that! You can't put an island up there and expect me not to go to it. I'm gonna go to it and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm gonna get there. And so we've got some boxes over here. I'm gonna take these cardboard boxes. And then we are going to place them like a zoo. So let's jump up right here. Yeah, jump placement. I suppose I'm going to need to be able to, like, climb up on this a little bit later, though, aren't I? Can I take my boxes back once I've placed them? I don't think I can. Well, shitty, Maka. This is probably going to be problematic. But it looks like there are things around here. So we got, like, a table. We've got a chair. We could take the whole couch with us. Dude, we got a killer backpack. That's a backpack for the ages. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking is we put the fridge down, like, right here, right? So we put the fridge, like, right on this side. Keep it ice cold, this game that we play in right now. And then we use the table right there, and that's going to allow us to get... Oh, shit. That thing gave us hops. Hold on, did I jump off the table like that? What just happened? I just jumped so high. I jumped amazingly high. We've also got a couch. I don't know what I want to do with the couch just yet. I'll find something to do with the couch, though. I think... Is there other stuff, like, laying around all over the place? Oh, yeah, we're on a circular world that's really small. And so, we can walk around and, like, loot other people. Oh, I can take people's doors, too. So, we've got televisions, we've got beds, a few more moving crates. Apparently, everybody's on their way out. Can I take the fences? I cannot take the fences. So, let's get a bit more stuff before we decide what we want to do here. Because I want to approach this like the puzzle it's meant to be. So, there's, like, some chairs, some TVs and stuff. And then we've got some doors right there. All right, so that sounds good. I'm going to run along the fence here. And there's a few boxes in this guy's yard. So sorry, man, your shipping endeavors are going to be slightly impeded for a little bit. They're going to be slightly impeded. We'll take the couch, we'll take the doors, we'll take the fridge. I think I'm going to have to reinforce the bottom of this thing. Uh, this is a Game Jam build, so this was just one of those fun little titles that somebody made in order to, like, you know, just play around and learn game development, basically. Uh, you can pick it up at the link down below that I've got for you if you want to play the game for yourself. But I thought it was kind of an interesting little title, and I figured I'd check it out. So after we loot all of the stuff here... Once we have all of the things, that's when I'll start playing around with the rough idea of actually, like, accomplishing my objective. And so here's our home. We have a pink home. That's all good. Pink is cool. I like pink. I think we're going to have to do something here to make this a little bit better. So with the sofa, like, we've definitely got to reinforce the base a little bit. Because as I understand it, this game does use, like, physiques. And so if it's going to use physiques, we got to play along. I'll put one fridge right there. And I'll put like a fridge right here. And I'll put a fridge right there. And so we should have a pretty strong base to work with right now. And then what I'll do is I'm going to put a fridge right there. Put a fridge right there so that we can jump onto the top of it. Oh, dude, we're nowhere near that thing. Holy shit, we got to go so much higher. Well, if I place the sofa. Hmm. So our little tower of bullshit is getting taller, but I think we've got this. I think we've got this. So I'm going to jump up to here and having a look at it. I think if I put the, the couch kind of on the edge. And then we do something like that right there. And actually, I bet the couches stack well with like the doors or something. And so we'll put a door right there. Actually, I don't think the game uses physics, so reinforcing the bottom of this thing was probably a mistake. Yeah, we're still not quite there yet. Still not quite there. I think... Do I have another couch? Place another couch over here. Like, if I could put a couch down, like, right here. Yeah, buddy. That'll get us there. And so we're up like so, and then I'm going to repeat that sequence. I'm going to repeat that sequence where we have the door right here, and then if I could place another couch, this seems like a good way to use sofas. This definitely does not seem like a waste of sofas. I'm falling. Oh, God. I don't want to fall. All right. So there we go. We got another sofa right there. Shit! Although landing on the door is a little bit sketchy. All right. So we got to figure out a new sequence here. I've got the door, and now that I've got the door, maybe I'll do the same thing with chairs. I bet chairs will work. And so we'll put a chair right there. And actually, we can jump to the chair just this way. Hell yeah. I, I was thinking, like, repeating sequences are the best way to get this finished off. Like, you use the stuff that you have on hand. I'll put a door right there. 
And I'll be honest, we're kind of getting here. Like, we're kind of getting here. We're not quite there yet, but I think we can manage it if we just keep on trucking. All right, so we've got the door. I got to get up on the back of the chair, so there we go. We put another door in. Oh, dude, it's still so far away. It's still so far away. I feel like we've made so much progress and yet accomplished nothing. Let's go look at our tower from the ground real fast and see what's going on with it. How big is it? Oh my god, that tower is getting ridiculous at the moment. That tower is... shenanigans. I kind of feel like I'm still missing stuff. I feel like I need more things. Did I go inside all the houses? Yeah, I was going to say, we got to loot around a little bit more and grab some more stuff. You there? Yeah, that's going to make a big difference. Oh my god, there's like nine objects we missed. Okay, so we got nine objects that we missed. Was there anything inside of this house? Obviously the doors. Ah, there we go. Grab a few more. Keep building this tower and doing our thing. I like this, though. This is one of those, like, therapeutic games that you can just play. There's no violence. There's no explosions. Doesn't really require a whole lot of brain power. It's just you dicking around with something that's inherently fun. And so, yeah, I think our tower is going pretty well right now. If we stick to this strategy, I think it's going to go well. Although, right now, what we got going on is the climbability test. Can we get back up this thing? without shooting ourselves in the foot, and I think we can. I'm of the opinion that this is a challenge that we can handle. So we've got the couch right there. We jump up. Ugh, come on. There we go. Please don't fall. Oh my god, please don't fall. If I ever mention that I'm afraid of heights, there we go. Perfect. So we made it up here. My suggestion would be that we offset the bed slightly. There we go. Got the bed offset. And then I... Ooh, I don't know what I want to do. Basically, I don't want to stack objects. We've already wasted a whole bunch of stuff at the bottom. And so instead of, instead of wasting stuff at the bottom like we have done already... Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. That was terrifying. That was the worst. You guys have no idea right now. My palms are hella sweaty right now. Like, they are ridiculously sweaty. We've never actively talked about my fear of heights on the channel before, though. I like how the music gets quieter the higher up you are. That's a nice little touch right there. That's a nice little touch. Alright, so after seven minutes, we've done a pretty solid job of building ourselves a tower to whatever the hell this is. I'm going to have it lean a little bit in this direction so if we don't have to worry about the physics of the situation anymore. That's fine. I'll just keep putting boxes in. And actually, I think I'm going to need a little bit of room to work with in order to get this to work. There we go. All right, so from here... Oh, my God, we are so far up the ground. Jesus, we are, like, way up here. But that does put us slightly to the side of the island. So if I can get up to, we've got five TVs, two tables, two sofas, a refrigerator. So let's go ahead and do the refrigerator thing real fast. That'll take us up a little bit higher, and now we got to start stacking chairs, I think. Although the stacking of the chairs is going to be a little bit more challenging. Because i got to get it, like, onto the edge of itself. Like, right there. Climbing back up, this is going to be a nightmare if I fall. Seriously, this is going to be the worst. And then I'm just kind of making... Oh, no! I fell. But wow, that tower is getting pretty impressive, man. That tower is getting pretty impressive. We've done a good job here. I can't speak for the structural integrity, but I can say this. We're kind of badass. Good sweet Jeebus. We're so close. I really sincerely think we are. We're, like, really close to the solution here. Oh, we're missing a door. I forgot to take the door off my house. Okay, so that'll help out. I mean, if we still had the fridges and stuff from the bottom, I'd say we're 100% intact right now. I'd say we're good. I would say we have nothing to worry about. Um, let's go. We gotta, we're gonna finish this thing. I gotta get back up to the top. It's a long way to the top if you wanna stack some shit. Alright, back up to here. And now comes the Trixie part. Now comes a little bit of the old Trixie Trixie. Alright, so we're on top of the door right there. That gets us on top of the bed, and now we're doing our spiral stacking door thing over here. Oh, I hadn't thought about that. I've actually... 
I've blocked my path, but I think I can actually beat it by just going straight up. May Actually, I may have messed this up. There's no real path to get back up right here. And so I'm going to have to do something in order to get around this. And even if I do, chances are I might still not be able to get... Oh, I might have blocked myself. I think I blocked myself with that spiral pattern. So we may want to stay away from the spiral pattern, I'm thinking. That or I just tried to go about it the wrong way. We could try again on the right right there, but I'm thinking a reload might be in order. And this time around, I think we'll be solid. But let me give it one more go and see if my stacking skills are on par here. It's not even the stacking that's giving me trouble. It's the parkouring all over the place. There we go. So we've made it on top of this. I got to get on top of that door if I'm going to make it. Oh, dude, I just got bumped out by something. I don't know what that was, but it threw me. It'd also be easier if I wasn't constantly trying to place items that were flashing on my screen. Oh, couch, why you do me like this? Why you do me like this, couch? Why you do me like this? Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I gotta get back over here. That overhead couch is very much becoming my nemesis. Oh, shit, dude. I hate heights, they're the worst. I hate heights, I have no thirst to climb real high on the mountain sky. I hate heights a lot. Oh shit. Yeah, I think I messed it up. I think I, I think I messed it up real bad, Brian. I think I messed it up. We're gonna have to restart, I think. Yep, we're gonna have to restart. I blocked myself with that spiral pattern. That was a mistake. Okay, so note to self, do not spiral. Do not spiral at all. It's a terrible plan. Let's do this again. Oh, we're back in business now. I have picked up every tangible object I can find to stack. And so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna start with sofas this time around. I think I'm gonna start with the sofas. Uh, because, well... Actually, no. I take that back. Actually, yeah, let's start with sofas. Because sofas are easy enough, and we can actively climb sofas, so it's not like that big of a deal. Like, can I get back up right here right now? Yeah, like, pretty easily I can get back up this. So we'll just keep it going like so, just kind of crisscrossing and doing our thing until we're out of sofas. And we're already gaining pretty good altitude just from this. Now then, boxes are kind of a risky... I feel like boxes are for the final go when you're like almost there. And so instead, what I'm going to do is let's do chairs next. I think chairs are in a solid state to do this. Well, actually, no. We're going to need some kind of surface on top of each chair to separate them from one another. And I think a door is actually what we're aiming for here. I mean, technically, I could just use the doors and crisscross them like a plus sign and go all the way to the top. That is also equally possible. It requires a little bit more precision platforming, which is slightly horrifying and not something that I know if I can pull off on a... Did I already screw myself over again with overhangs and whatnot? See, that's the problem. Oh, it won't let me sit on top. It's okay. We can recover this. We can recover this. We're going to be all right. Everything is going to be okay. Because I could put a door right there. And this door will allow me access to right there. So that I can get back on the horse here. The other main thing you got to watch out for is just don't fall. Like, getting back up onto this stuff is a nightmare if you end up falling. All right. Doors do give you the maximum height, and they are still jumpable. And so I think doors are the secret to this equation. I think doors are the thing that's really going to get us there. We just got to be careful as hell about their deployment so that I don't fall. Which I think is the part that gets a little scary as you get higher up. Getting there. Getting there. Uh, fridges are up next. Assuming that I can actually tangibly drop a fridge in front of me. This shouldn't be too bad. 
because we've got 10 of them, and I think that should be enough to make this happen. I may need to switch directions, because I don't want to end up underneath. So what I'll do is I'll start slightly shifting the facing. There we go. That ice-cold precision. That method. That training. He's waited his whole life for this day that he would go to the Forbidden Isle. That he would make it. That he would be the first. Oh, we're so close! We're so close! And we're out of, like, large surfaces, too. That's the part that really terrifies me. I've got beds. But, like, if I deploy beds, we are never getting back up here. So don't fall. That puts us pretty close. If I could do something like this right here. We've got enough boxes to where I think I could make it. I do not trust the structural integrity of this shit. Not for a second. This thing does not strike me as being well built. Come on, shit pile. Get me to my dreams. Get me to my dreams, you filthy shit pile. Let's do this thing. To others, you would just look like a massive tower of trash. You would be the cause of concern and the reason for a call to be made to a moving company. But nay, to the island we go! We made it! Our name is apparently Sam. Says he wants to climb even higher. Look at Sam in here being a go-getter, trying to make his life better. Who's going to take us with them? This is starting to sound a little ominous. The way that he's just like, yes and knowing my decisions. Uh-oh. What's going to happen? Did everybody else go with Jesus? Is that what happened? And then we climbed our way up there. We were like, nah, I'm getting to heaven, bitch. I'm going to make it. You can't stop me. I'm making it in them pearly gates. One way or another. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Stack. Pretty fun little title. Pretty fun little title. And honestly, there's a lot of replayability here because you can play around and challenge yourself by using only specific objects or making designs and things of that nature. Figured I'd show it off. It's an indie game jam game, so it was made probably in about a week for like a competition at some random indie show. But I thought that it had merit, and I thought it looked a little bit humorous and a little bit fun. So thank you for stopping on in. This is Stack. I'll have a link for you down below if you want to play it yourself. My name is Splattercat. I show off indie games and other small projects every single day. So if you don't like what you saw here today, well, maybe there'll be something awesome here tomorrow that you can check in on. How about that? I'll see y'all later. Thank you for stopping on in. As always, if you want to support me, you can do that through the Patreon. That's a great way to do it. And you can support the developers who I support by making videos. It's also a great way to do it. Indie gaming is pretty much my life at this point. And so I really enjoy showing this little stuff off to you, alright? Bye, everybody.